Attention all New Orleans units, stand by for broadcast. We are looking for a violent 103M. Escape from the home of mentally insane adolescents. She is described as an Asian female, brown hair, brown eyes, and she is considered dangerous. Use extreme caution. Over. Copy. Lucky me. Yo, where your friends at? This is little old you. All alone in this big bad world. Dude. You okay? You don't sound like you're from around here. I mean, you live in New Orleans? I'm not going back there. What's that? Stop. Well, did you, like, run away from somewhere? I don't want to go back! Got no place to stay. I'm helping her out for a little while. Since when do you help people? Hey, she's a little miracle. She's a fugitive. Stop running! If you see this girl, do not look in her eyes. Why do you think you're in charge? I knew something freaky was gonna happen tonight. But it's a full moon. I like feel it in my ovaries. I swear to God. Big. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there's a rule in Hollywood. You usually don't work with children or dogs, but if you get the chance to work with this kid, Evan Witten, that we got to see in the wonderful new film Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon, take the opportunity to do so. Evan, what's up, man? What's up? Hey. Hey, you're great in this movie, man. Can you talk to me about how you ended up in this thing? Um, well, uh, I kind of just piqued my interest uh, just because of how great the movie is. And, like, Charlie is such a great character. He's, like, uh, has a very different life for me. So it was kind of a challenge for me to play him, but in, like, a good way. He's, like, uh, neglected by his mom. He's bullied. Uh, has to fend for himself, has no friends. So when he meets Mona Lisa, he's kind of like, they have this like unlikely friendship because they get each other. Like they don't have any friends. They're like rejected by the world. So uh, I think that's really good. Yeah, man, I think you really nailed that too. You you, you kind of got that the kid was misunderstood. Now, one of the biggest character arcs for your character in the movie is he's a big fan of the of metal music. He wears a lot of deep purple yeah. Metallica shirts. Are you a metal fan yourself? Um, well, I have to admit, before this movie, I mean, I, I liked it, but I wasn't, like, overboard with it. But, yeah, I really like the music now because the movie is really good, and it just brings me back to those days where I was preparing for, like, you know, filming the movie. So, I really like it. I like that, man. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big metal guy myself. I mean, you can't tell <laughs> by looking at me, right? Uh, now, what's it like working with such a talented cast? I mean, Ed... Craig, John, and uh, and Kate, all very talented actors working across from them. But you stole the show in a lot of the scenes, man. Ah, uh, thanks so much. Yeah, no worries. What was it like working with them? Um, well, it was really great. They're like really talented actors, and I'm just so honored to, you know, just like to learn from them and be amongst them. I mean, they're like, yeah, they're really great. Like uh, Ed is really funny. And uh, I learned a lot from Kate, and uh, just everyone is great. Yeah, man, I, Ed steals the show, bro. He's he's amazing. Uh, yeah. I got to tell you, this isn't the first time you've worked with a talented cast. I looked into you, and you, you've been in some good stuff. At Mr. Robot, which has a, a talented cast. You've had a really good career for somebody so young, man. I got to applaud you for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So I always like to ask a really fun question. Um, yeah. If you had a chance... And you could only watch two movies for the rest of your life. And you're a young guy. What movies would you pick and why? See what I mean? Yeah. That's usually the reaction yeah. I get. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, uh, I mean, it'd probably take a while for me to decide. But, like, right now, I'd probably say, like, like either, like, like a Star Wars movie, like Star Wars A New Hope, and, like, uh... Avengers Endgame or something like that. Avengers Endgame is like three hours long, so that's a good choice. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> way too long yeah. so it's a good choice i like that i like that very disney centric i can appreciate and respect those choices a new hope is a fantastic film good job on that um now <clears throat> one of the most difficult things when i have a, uh, anybody in front of me especially somebody so young is getting into the headspace of where how how do you prepare for something like this how do you prepare for your roles what's your process man well um uh my process for like any particular show or movie uh i just uh yeah i just put myself in the character's shoes like charlie i just kind of thought about what what is who is charlie what is this guy going through and how can I, like, how can I kind of act that out? Because to act something, you got to know what's going on. You got to know how this guy is feeling, you know? Yeah, I got I to I gotta tell you, you're a smart kid, man. That's a good, good approach. Mm. Let me ask wow. you. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what do you like to do? You like, are you a gamer? Because I know a lot of the young guys are gamers. <laughs> yeah, not so much. I don't actually, like, you know, game. But I like to play, you know, just like casual video games sometimes. Love it. Love it. I, I saved that question specifically for you because I know a lot of the younger guys are like my son is 12 and he's a huge gamer. So, yeah, I like that. Good, good oh. questions, man. So I want to ask you one final question before I let you go, buddy. OK, yeah. okay. I want you to pitch me the movie. If I wanted to go see your new movie, what would you say to me to make me go see it? Um, hmm. OK, I'd say. Or just like what what the movie's about, or like just kind of like sell it oh, to man, me, man. Please. Yeah, just sell it All to right. me. Well, um, the music is great, and uh, and it's just such a cool movie. You should definitely check it out. It's like uh, there's like these awesome characters. There's this kid who's like kind of forms this unlikely bond with like someone who's from from a mental institution. It's crazy, man. It's like. And it's like there can be like sentimental, emotional parts too. It can be funny. It's, it's uh, it kind of has that cool uh, New Orleans vibe to it. It's just an awesome movie. I'm glad you brought up the New Orleans vibes because you're totally right mm -hmm. on that, man. Uh, great, great Thanks. job there. Uh, Anna Lily Amanpour is the director here. What well, she's fantastic, uh, isn't she? She is amazing. Like such a great director, and even on set, she just like makes you visualize the movie even before it's out yet it's so amazing even when yeah. we're still working on it. i've awesome. heard that about her dude she that's that's a really good insight because you're totally right i i i, I that, that was good that was a good answer man uh guys it's been my pleasure to talk to evan witten today i only had about 15 minutes with you but you made the most of them man great job i look forward to seeing what you do as you get older and start doing more projects because I know you're going to have a long one ahead of you because you're good in this film, man. Good job. Guys, check Thanks. out Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon when it comes out from Saving Films. It's going to be out real soon. Yeah, anything else you want to tell the audience before we let you go, bud? Um, just if you look chill, you feel chill. If you watch the movie, you'll get what that means. I like it. Good, good, good pull there, man. Thank you so much for being hey. here with me today, bud. Thank you.